Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we take a look at my vintage Gibson RD Standard.
The history of the Gibson RD is a rather brief one, and that has only recently changed. The original run of the Gibson RD was from 1977 to 1981, with some models that were made in 1981 appearing as 1982 models in the form of the CMT or the Creeley Maple Top models, which were all fancy and you can find them for thousands of dollars on eBay. Very, very rare. Um, overall, the Gibson RD itself is fairly rare. Only 2,800 are estimated to have been made across all five models. So you have the standard RD guitar, you have the custom, and then you have the artist uh, trim level of the guitars. And then on the bass side, you had the RD standard and the RD artist bass. And 2,800 is a drop as far as numbers go and production numbers. So these are fairly rare. And what's unique about these is they had the 25 and a half inch scale and only late in production was that changed and shortened to the standard Gibson 24 and three quarter scale. Pretty interesting. Now all the reissues have had the 24 and three quarter scale, which, you know, I wish it had the, uh, the longer scale like the originals, which I really, really dig. And it gives them less of a slinky feel and more of a, just they're really tight guitars. They're also very, very heavy. Uh, this is solid maple. Uh, this is a three piece maple body with a, a, a maple neck. And I would say the weight of this guitar is probably upwards of 11 pounds. Um, I have a 2012 Gibson Les Paul Traditional, and that is 9.6 pounds, and this is definitely heavier. What's also interesting about this guitar is this is a local guitar to Seattle. I was asked what my dream guitar was, and I answered Gibson RD, and I, and I answered this publicly on my Ask FM question form thing. And someone the very next day said, hey, uh, one of those guitars you were just talking about is uh, in Seattle on Craigslist. And it was a local collector looking to thin his herd a little bit. And this was it. Um, I paid $1,700 for this guitar, which I would pay all day long. Um, this guitar is in near mint condition with the exception of some arm wear on the edge and some uh, tiny bit of wear on the back. But other than that, it is very, very clean. The only things I have modified is obviously my straps. I changed out the old strap buttons. Uh, I have replaced the tuners with uh, drop-in replacement uh, Schaller M6 tuners, which uh, are the original tuners, except they don't say Gibson, they say Schaller. And I changed the pickups to my signature Fastback beard comber because the stock Custom 7 pickups uh, weren't so great. They were kind of anemic sounding. But interestingly enough, this guitar is all maple and it is not overly bright at all. It sounds like a maple bodied uh, guitar with a, or it sounds like a, excuse me, it sounds like a mahogany body with a maple top guitar, like a Les Paul. It sounds like a Les Paul. Um, and it just resonates throughout the entire neck. When you hit a chord, you can feel it in, in the entire guitar. It just resonates as one and it's just incredible. And my favorite guitar I have ever owned or played by far. That's all my time I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little brief history lesson. If you have any questions about the Gibson RD or about this guitar in particular, please leave a comment below and I will try to get to them. And I am Fluff, and as always, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.